Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA. If you enjoy this content, please become a deep sea biologist and name every species you discover, subscribe to Modest Pelican Gaming or die slowly, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. All right, this might well be one of the most emotional videos you watch this decade. If you thought Backdoor Girls Volume 15 was inspirational, then you haven't seen nothing yet. I organized to meet the lads on the rooftop swimming pool at the casino, and this is for one reason only, to show off my new tattoo. You see, people aren't taking the Sons of Virgin seriously, like Melman the Giraffe 63, who commented saying, you guys aren't gangsters, why would you be proud of being a virgin? Well, Melman, I definitely bang hundreds of chicks on the daily if I was married to all of them. Imagine thinking premarital sex was gangster, what a simp. Anyway, I feel this princess bubblegum g-string tattoo just lets people know that I am in fact a gangster with a light salting of sophistication. The lads arrive and we decide to have a quick diving competition. And Crosby sort of just slips into the pool while being shot by the police, so I guess 0 out of 10. Stealth Okabo attempts a reverse dive entry with a high degree of difficulty but doesn't even make the water, so I guess 3 out of 10. Then Stealth Omato, like an angel descending from the heavens, front flips from the rooftop, absolutely obliterating the competition with perfect execution. The 2 out of 10, so yeah, congratulations Stealth Okabo. I can't just heterosexually vibe with the lads in the pool all day because I've got to make some serious cash. Basically, I won this flying deluxo at the casino and I want to add heat-seeking missiles to it because, well, they're heat-seeking missiles. I need about $1 million to buy a mobile operation center and then I should be able to upgrade the car, so it's time to hustle. The lads keep teasing me about my wheels though, so first I head over to Los Santos Customs and purchase the most iconic rims I can find. A questionable use of $75,000, but you can't put a price tag on letting everyone know that you don't close the curtains when you fap. I want the neighbors to watch. Gerald's missions are currently paying double, so it makes sense to do a few jobs for the big girl. You come across a wide range of people in GTA Online. This guy's mullet is the stuff of dreams, and this guy is literally me if I was secretly a communist. Because I'm not a communist. I'm not like trying to build up a YouTube gaming channel so that I can secretly push my communist agenda. I mean, if I even had a communist agenda, which I don't. All right, so job number one, we've got to take out some Salva henchmen. I'm not entirely sure where he got it, but Crosby seems to be trying to Uzi people from a BMX bike, which I mean is an alpha play, but questionable strategy choice. We clear out the boss's hideout, and somehow he's not dead. A god I hate looter shooters where the enemies are just bullet sponges, it's so grindy. Oh wait, he is dead, we just have to take a photo of his body. Kinky. Just like that, $37,000 in the bank. Next up, we have to steal the drugs. Yes, now this is gangster. I love drugs, man. I do two or even three drugs every minute. Hear that, Melman the Giraffe 63? I bet you regret writing that comment now, you long-necked, non-virgin, high-leaf-eating cuck. On another note, what on earth is Carbo wearing? In fact, the only thing saving his outfit is that fedora. Women love fedoras, especially when you send them unsolicited dick pics wearing only a fedora and then feel bad after you nut. So you donate 50% of your salary to their Twitch stream. I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm not a communist. I mean, I'm not a simp. God, so many things that I'm not. Wow. Seriously though, I think Carbo needs to stop sexually assaulting the innocent scientists and then executing them. It's sort of making me question his mental state, but hey, somebody's gotta do it I guess. Mission complete, $32,000 in the bank. Alright, now we've gotta sell the drugs in this truck. I ride on the roof and it's great because I can provide suppressive fire on the potentially very dangerous civilian vehicles. It's also a great time for a brewski. Life hack. Fill up your beer bottles with water so that you can stay hydrated. Crosby keeps trying to drive under low things to knock me off. 
It's pretty malicious online bullying, but the important thing is we get paid $37,000. We have now paid off my dollar sign rims. No regrets though. We continue helping out old mate Gerald with his various errands. We break into a meat factory and inside the safe is a secret formula for what I can only assume is the elusive Krabby Patty. My man Spongebob is so progressive. He's out there tearing down society's social constructs every time he smashes that thick underwater astronaut squirrel. $32,000. The other way I'm making cash is by doing some VIP work. For example, assassinating some targets, and of course the flying car helps. But it would be a lot more helpful if it had missiles. We're out here doing the most futuristic yet 90s hood drive-bys on armoured cars, so it sure does take a while. Of course we get it done eventually, and are paid handsomely. I do another hit because they just pay so well and aren't very risky. Unlike yesterday when I got a cheeky under the table handy off my boss's stepsister. Anyway, as a YouTuber, I'm self-employed, so yeah. I don't know if this joke is funny because I actually have stepsisters. So to get the last of the funds, I need to head over to my nightclub. It's good to see the place is still pumping. Seriously, I appreciate you supporting my business during this difficult time, ma'am. I remember when I used to love going to nightclubs when I first turned 18. We used to play the straw game where you would just get a straw and drink random people's drinks that they were holding when they weren't paying attention. I drank this one girl's drink and she was so angry that she threw it on me. But then she saw I was wearing a fedora and we ended up spending the entire night together pre-marital hand holding. But then I found out the girl's dad owned a multinational company and was a capitalist bootlicker so I killed her entire family because communism is the future. I mean we had a few Bacardi breezes and then went our separate ways as we had different different personal interests. Yeah, so anyway, I now own the mobile operation center, let's go. It's got this big empty white space, which is honestly pretty underwhelming, but it does have a small living quarters and even a fruit bowl. I'm actually really excited about the fruit bowl, not sure why. So yeah, I go to drive the Deluxo into the operation center, but as I'm a massive potato, I didn't realize you also have to buy the vehicle workshop. It costs just under $1 million. I take this news well and let out my emotions in a healthy and safe way by driving into oncoming traffic in my gigantic expensive truck. All I know is that I'm not giving up on the dream. Are you guys witnessing my personal character arc progression? Six months ago I would have given up, we all know it. Also on the positive side, Stealth Omato has bought himself a vehicle that doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. It's genuinely so weird seeing him drive something so normal. We do some more VIP work, like this one where we have to deliver cars, and I mean you could say it doesn't go well. I really don't even know how something like this happens. The car that needs delivering gets so stuck that several stepbrothers tried to take advantage of it. Man, this channel is really being propped up by the adult entertainment industry. Eventually, one of the lads cracked it and exploded everything. We still get paid $10,000 for some reason, so cash money. I am determined to make that full million though. We keep doing job after job. Gone are the days of us killing each other over and over again. The Sons of Virgins are like an oiled machine right now, it's truly beautiful to witness. After many hours of hustling, I'm still $600,000 short. At this point, even the most hardworking of people would simply give up. What's the point of having amazing classy dollar sign rims if I can't explode everyone with heat seeking missiles for no reason? In 1978, Michael Jordan was cut from the Laney High School basketball team, yet went on to be one of the greatest sportsmen of all time. This is my Laney High School moment, but me attaching weapons to this flying car is far more inspirational than MJ's story. Well, maybe not, but it's pretty damn close. The lads have to get off for dinner, so I contact a few of my most loyal subscribers to see if they're down to make some money. They're not just down, they're the answer to my prayers. Acidic Diesel has the final mission for the Doomsday Heist ready to play. Him, my boy Ryan, and Devoted Penguin give me a very generous split of the takings. Some would say this is exploitation of my viewers, but I did somewhat kind of half-heartedly suggest we do an even split. But they were like, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah, you need the money, you poor malacca. Wow, hurtful, but thanks. 
Jeez, it took like five entire videos for us to complete the doomsday heist. It feels weird doing it in one minute, but who cares? This is a fast $415,000. Ryan then says he has the last mission of the casino heist ready to go, which genuinely gives me PTSD. However, he has done a much better job with the preparation missions. And we just walk in the front door passing as staff. It's pretty straightforward. We inefficiently grab all the money, and then to make things even easier, the game glitches out and gives us all the weapons. Like literally every single weapon in the game, it's quite the meme. But sure does work and is better than a ceramic pistol. $388,000, I feel like I'm using cheat codes. Q Lester having a biracial kiss in what must be the hottest cutscene of the 21st century. Finally, lads and lasses, I can purchase the workshop for my truck. This is what I've been waiting for. This is my moment to shine exactly like MJ did. Seriously, if I don't have a Nike shoe deal in my inbox by tomorrow afternoon, I'm approaching Adidas. I proceed to finally purchase the weapons upgrade. Introducing the weaponized Deluxo. The 50 caliber inbuilt machine guns are the perfect tool for clearing out crowded places. Do you suffer from social anxiety? Well, that'll no longer be a problem when you gently remove all social interactions from your now much larger safe space. If the police arrive, don't sweat it. Just switch into hover mode and use your heat-seeking missiles to explode them all so swiftly that you'll forget they even have loving families. Make driving great again with the weaponized Deluxo, the smart way to get home safely. All right, for real, this car makes destroying targets so easy no matter how armored they are. I don't think I'll use this Deluxo all the time though, as I like driving around, but still, it's a good option to have for some fast cash. I head over to eliminate the last target and another player oddly tries to defend them, which is a really bad choice for their longevity, but quite fun for me. Now feeling pretty accomplished, I notice a new potential threat for the Sons of Virgins. You may have already realized, but there's an alien war going on in many GTA servers around the world at the moment and it's taken over social media. It's the green alien gang versus the purple alien gang and they go around murdering each other. I think next episode, it's time we get involved. Let this be a message to all purple aliens out there who I'm choosing to side with. Also, almost everyone who appears in my videos has some sort of social media, which I always link in the description. Stealth Carbo even has a YouTube channel, so if you were seeking some fresh content, he has the fresh content. Anyway, thanks for watching, you absolute legends, and a huge thanks to those who support the channel through Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.